Hey y'all, hey, welcome to episode 19 of Motivation With Me. And we are in part three of the We Matter series, and I am coming to y'all with the ball spots out and the edges slayed, okay? The edges are edging and the puff is puffing. Get it together. Um, So we are on part three of the We Matter series, and let me just say how much I love y'all in this YouTube channel because I am extremely tired. I'm tired, but I gained the strength to come up here and record this video for y'all because we got to get into this thing and I will have another exclusive video on uh, my situation with the justice system from this week and as it pertains to my child abuse and my abuser who uh, this time did get off with child abuse but nevertheless <laughs> I'm coming for your ass but again that's going to be another video a very exclusive video or I may do Facebook live I'm still trying to decide but anyway let's get into this white privilege though so what is white privilege because some people seem to either not know what it is or don't think it exists it definitely does okay so white people y'all are privileged to do whatever the fuck y'all want to do Okay, what goes for y'all don't go for us. Y'all privileged. Y'all are privileged, meaning y'all can do whatever the fuck y'all want to do with no consequences because you are white. Because this right here, it's not melanated. Okay, this y'all don't have this melanation, this beauty, this oh my god, girl, look, I wish y'all looked what y'all don't have this right here so therefore in society y'all can do what the fuck y'all want to do y'all can say what the fuck y'all want to say and y'all can cut the fuck up with no consequences okay that's what white privilege is white privilege is basically we can do all these things with no consequences but y'all can't do this because if y'all do it and by y'all I mean us then there's going to be an issue okay white people feel as though they are superior to everybody else that they're the supreme white supremacy okay so they feel like they are above us nothing applies when it comes to white people ain't no rules and this whole pandemic has shown a lot of that to the light shown a lot of it to be true because today we're gonna look at some clips we're gonna look at some clips today and we're gonna we're gonna get into these clips on these Karens okay and these these white people who again can do what they want to do with no consequences but let that have been us and when it is us then it's an issue then it's an issue when we do it then we get killed we get put in jail we get all kind of consequences when we do it but when you white motherfuckers do it and again I cuss so if you don't like cussing get the fuck off my channel um Especially this. Y'all know I just who this one was this one was tough for me because I was watching these videos and I was just like, you you gotta be fucking you gotta be fucking kidding me. Like it's funny, but it ain't funny. Cause it's like this is how motherfuckers really think. Like this is the type of shit that's going on in the world. Let let's run this. Let's run this here. Cause see now I got to get comfortable. Let's let's run this this first video this first what I like to call the Karen mask video let's run this real quick and we're gonna we're gonna come back in just a second hold on day one this is opening day of Trader Joe's in North Hollywood this is Karen Woo. We got it. <laughs> You're gonna work on my teeth, not my nose. I don't wear a mask getting but, my teeth cleaned. But it's about the safety from our, of all of our Fine, I'll cover my mouth. Can I go be seated now? No, because you're not you're not filling out the forms or letting us take your temperature. It's about protecting our You can't take my everybody. temperature. That's against the law. All right, well I can't You're not an me. MD. We're not okay. allowed to we can't no. see you. That's I have a right to sue you for harassing me, the air manager, and this entire company, Smile, whatever you call it, dental. I do have that right, and I talked to my attorney before I came here, too. 
Okay. So does he want that to happen? I've waited long enough for my teeth to be cleaned, okay? Let's get this done, okay? I, I can't, they're telling me I can't see you. Who's there? The owner of the practice. I want to hear him. Get him on the phone. He has to send me in written writing, so I want to see your policy. You shouldn't be in the building without a mask either. I can do what I want. No, I'm free. You can't. It's this not a, a law. Office. It's not a law. This is a medical office. No, it's a dental office. First of all, <laughs> you motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, oh, y'all get on my nerves. <laughs> y'all get on my nerves. They said she had a breathing problem. Um, first of all, I got asthma. Okay. And When I put on a mask all day, can I breathe? Not really. Not, it's not exactly comfortable because I got to wear one all day at work. But uh, when you put a mask on, when anybody puts a mask on, can you breathe? Yes. Is it hard? Yes. And if your, your teeth ain't brushed, it probably stink. It probably stink. Don't nobody like wearing no mask. Nobody likes putting on a mask. But it's mandatory. We are in the middle of a pandemic. Okay, Karen and Susan or whoever the fuck. We are in the middle of a pandemic. Put on the damn mask and quit playing with me. We've been wearing masks for a whole year at this point. Now, I don't know what state they're in. I don't know what the rules are. I don't know any of that. I'm in Houston, Texas. So Abbott then took the mask mandatory mandate off whatever. Ugh, I wish he would have never gave he gay white people the tool. The tool. So now it's based on the business and it's decided by the business whether they require masks or not. For example, I went to the mall the other day and the sign on the door says that masks are highly recommended now this is the mall doors right we know it's stores in the mall but this is this is the mall entrance and it says masks are highly recommended not required recommended and so you know i'm with my boyfriend and i was like babe look at this they done took they done took off the required part but i also said i said now each store is different Okay, if Bath and Body Works say you can't come in without a mask, then you can't come in maskless. Okay, put a mask on if you're going to come in. I, and I told him, I said, Bay Washington, I bet you the only motherfuckers in here that ain't going to have no mask on is white. I said, white people been waiting for that shit. They've been waiting for it because they don't like that. They don't like that feeling of oppression that they have with that mask on. They don't like people telling them what to do. The nerve of you. Tell me I What? I gotta put a, ma a mask on. Why do I have to put on a mask? That's illegal, bitch. So we won't die even more because it's a pandemic outside because COVID-19 is real and it's killing people. Despite the conspiracies, put on the goddamn mask. I don't know why that's so difficult. Put it on. Don't none of us want to wear it, but y'all just don't like being told what to do. So of course we go in the mall White folks ain't got no mask on. I was like, what I tell you? what I tell you? Now, you go into each individual store, you got to have a mask on. Because they still, they have that right. Have y'all ever seen the sign on the stores in, in some places that says, no shoes, no shirt, no service? Meaning, if you come in their establishment and you ain't got on no shoes or no shirt, then you ain't getting no service. The same thing applies with masks, people. These are these people establishment. I don't care if it's franchise. I don't care if it's a corporation. It just seemed to be a lot going on with Trader Joe's. I don't know what, what it is with, I don't know, white people shit. But if these people say you got to come in there with a mask on and it's required or you cannot come in their establishment, then that's what the fuck the rules are. Follow the rules. If you don't want to follow the rules, then get the fuck. If she didn't, you see how she threw that shit on the floor? You see how she threw that basket? Let that have been me. Let that have been me who act the fool in the store over a damn mess. Or just in general. 
Then now I'm the crazy black girl that's all over the internet. Now I'm the angry black girl who doing the fool over because I didn't want to do something y'all told me. Now granted, I have done some shit like that before. I have. I done threw some shit on the ground. Look, my attitude bad. I'm savage. Okay? But at the same time, I guarantee you I didn't stick around to to sit there and talk about how I can't breathe and record it and all. I didn't do all that. I bust my ass out that door. I ran. <laughs> like, I, I threw it down and ran because I got to get up out of here because y'all called the cops on me. It's a wrap. But she was able to throw it down, talk about, you Democrats! Nah. I mean, she went the fuck off. And the second lady, how you gonna say it's illegal to take a temperature? Why is everything illegal now? Like, why is everything illegal to y'all? I don't understand. Like, it ain't legal to kneel on a motherfucker's neck. It ain't legal to kill people. That shit ain't legal either, but y'all got them counterparts is getting away with it. The cops is getting away with it. It's a crime to murder. It's a sin to murder. But y'all get away with it, though. So why we, why, and why you going back and forth with that I ain't got to call my attorney? Bitch, call him. Call him, please. Do whatever you feel is necessary, but the rule still applies. You got to put on a motherfucking mask or get out of here. And that's why I don't understand the back and forth. Just go somewhere else. Hell, you probably got money. You don't even, she didn't even know the name of the place. Like, I, why, why y'all... Stop it. Stop doing it. Stop doing it. But I can't tell y'all stop doing it because it ain't going to stop and it's a thing. So, anyway. Now, we're going to go to another video. Okay? Because Karen is, isn't... Karen isn't... Karen is a term. It's not a person. Karen is a term used... For a person. Now this could be a, a, a woman or a man. You can have a male Karen. Such as this. Let's take a look at another video, shall we? Hmm, okay. We're going to talk about male Karen. All right. I already explained this to you. Okay, tell this to me again. You're telling me we cannot eat here? So un unfortunately we do have a dress code. Um, if you, you know, if you have some non-athletic shorts. But that white kid out there can be here with his tennis shoes on and his athletic shirt. So we allow tennis shoes, but not not athletic shorts and t-shirts. He has one of, you, you're telling me that's not an athletic shirt? Not that one, but you're telling me that little boy who just ate here does not have one of athletic shirts. I'm sorry, I would, sure. love, I would love for you to be able to come back and eat here. So you telling me my son can't eat here because he has more athletic stuff? No, no, just the shorts. I just, it is, it is part of our dress code. We try to. So it's it. only his shorts. Only the shorts can't be athletic. The shorts and the t-shirt. Yeah. But the little boy has on an athletic. The little white kid that just sat out there has on an athletic, athletic tennis shoes. <sighs> okay. Now a lot of y'all have seen this video. This video is, is old. It's not a new video, okay? But it's very necessary for this topic. This is what I mean when I say white privilege. That white boy had on the same exact outfit as the black boy. If anything, <laughs> bro, bro came, first of all, he had on Jordan. Let me tell you something. Bro came in there fresh. He was matching, I mean fresh. He came in there fresh. Why yo the white boy had on like three different colors. Let's not even get I, I just had to throw that out there. But he they literally had on the same type of outfit. And I see that mama, I respect her. Cause I'm glad for one it was recorded. And see me, I'd have got the flipping shit over. I, I got the flipping shit over. Cause you're not finna do my child like this. And he's standing right here. Like, you literally mean to tell me he can't wear this, but uh, Johnny Boy outside can put this on and it's cool. He, him and his, fam his white family done ate and everything, but you gonna tell my son, we can't eat here 
because of what he got on. No, we can't eat here because of the color of our skin. Let's act like, let's not act like Jim Crow didn't exist. And it's still some motherfuckers out here who believe in those rules. And then here, here he go. Clearly she pointed and said, so he got on this and my son got on this and we can't eat here. That dude didn't know what the fuck to say. He just kept repeating himself. Like at that point, and if, if you in customer service, you should know better. At that point, you should have realized that you had been defeated and let these people eat. And then I believe he lost his job. I don't remember what happened exactly because, again, I know this video is from a while ago. But I'm pretty sure that man lost his job fucking with that lady. And when them cameras cut off, I hope to hell she whooped his ass because I would have whooped his ass. I would have at least threw a glass off in them. See, that's, why, that's what I'm telling y'all. They call us crazy and wild and angry. But then they be the reason we tear shit up. Because if she would have told up that damn place, she'd have been wrong. Right? She'd have been wrong? Bullshit. No. You talk about my son. You, you racist son of a bitch. You sit here and tell me my son can't wear this and we can't eat in here because of what he got on when the, the white boy had on the same exact outfit and they got to eat there. No. I mean, I'm leaving. I don't want to eat here no more anyway, but I'm going to tear some shit up on the way out. I'm going to flip some chairs over on the way out. I'm, I'm going to fuck some shit up. So, again, Karen is a term used for racist motherfuckers, for motherfuckers who feel like they have privilege because of the color of their skin. That's why Karens are white. You know, like niggas, like how they call us niggas or niggers or whatever. Yeah, we call it Karen is a thing. Karen is a thing. Okay. And then they get mad when we call them that. I'm not a Karen. Girl, yes, you are. Yes, you are. You are. If you got to say I'm not a Karen like that, you a Karen. That's just like me saying I'm not a nigga. Y'all quit playing with me. Quit playing with me. Quit playing with me. Karens exist. Okay? Karens call the cops just because a motherfucker look a certain way. Just because you look a certain way. They call the cops. They hide they keep, they 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 clutch clutch their purses and shit. Like, seriously? They feel like they don't black women are right here in white women to appear in their minds because they're superior to us we got to stop this 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 whole thing got to stop we are gonna run one more video and uh this see this one here touched me this one touched me kind of tough because this is a video on white privilege not not karen's just white privilege and the fuck shit that goes on in our society when it comes to police again and the damn justice system. This is white privilege if I ain't never seen it. Okay, so y'all brush, brush yourself. Trigger warning, brush yourself. Okay, here we go. Let's reiterate, the murderer was chased through the streets of Keeling, Virginia, and his life was preserved. A triple homicide. This is one of the countless examples of police relations through different communities and races in the United States of America. A white man escapes, yet a black man dies for selling cigarettes. It has happened again. Just nine days after the uproar in Ferguson, a grand jury in New York City has refused to indict yet another white police officer said to have killed an unarmed black man. Eric Garner in an apparent chokehold that is said to have eventually killed him. Hmm. Hmm. Y'all saw that? But did you see that? This motherfucker was running naked and had just murdered, 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 as in killed three people. 
why the cop didn't tase him, didn't shoot him. The cop was running from him. And that nigga looked like he owned some shit. Did you did you see that? Did you it's not that nigga was on some shit. He was he was high out of his mind to be running around naked. And the cop running from him. That cop had clearly enough motherfucking ammunition to shoot his ass. He just murdered three people. Kill him. He running from me. He about to kill somebody else. And y'all ain't shot this man yet. Why is y'all playing with him? Y'all didn't tase him. Y'all didn't. He, he going to hit him with the. What's they going to do? Shoot his ass just like you shoot everybody else. Just like y'all out here shooting our black men. Go bust one a cap in his ass too. But then you got Eric Garner. He, you, you leaning all up on him. He ain't no threat. Okay, he's a big black man. He can't do nothing about that. He ain't no threat. He ain't just kill nobody. And he can't breathe, y'all. Then took him out. Done. Oscar Grant. Done. Trayvon Martin. Racially profiled. Killed. With tea and Skittles. Like, quit playing with me. Philando Castile. Killed. Sandra Bland. Killed. George Floyd killed. Breonna Taylor killed. Like, are y'all kidding me right now? That's white privilege. That's, that is what white privilege is. That man had the privilege to keep living because he is white. That's not fair. It's not fair. And if we don't wake up and start seeing shit for what it is and doing something about it, this shit gonna keep happening. It's gonna keep happening. And I guess some people had a mindset of, well, it's been happening all this time and all these years and it's not changing. So what's the use in doing something about it if it ain't gonna change? You don't know that. What are you losing if you don't say nothing? Whether you what are you losing? If you if I say something, it don't matter what it is, if I make one post. What, what am I losing? Time? Just a little bit. But it's time well spent, though. We, you don't... I don't understand this whole keep our minds quiet. Stay out. That ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm staying out of it. It, it got something to do with you because you black. You a minority. This right here may mean that it got something to do with you. And if you choose not to do anything or say anything, that's on you. That's your life. Live your life the way you want to live it. Because I didn't say anything for a long time either. But I'm not oblivious to what the fuck is going on. And not all white people are racist. Let's get that out there. Not all white people are racist. That is not a thing. All white people are not racist. All cops are not killers. Okay, I have an adopted white father who has done more for me than anybody. I have an uncle who's a cop. Not all white people are racist. Not all white people are bad. Not all cops are killers. Not all cops are bad. Let's get that straight. But for the ones that are, that do that type of shit, that we just watched, yeah, no. Mm -mm. This got to end somewhere. This got to end somewhere. And we have to bring some type of awareness and wake people up to what the hell is going on in the world. I don't know what's going to come of these videos. Other than y'all listening to me talk and me getting the shit out and talk about what I'm passionate on. But I hope something comes of them. I hope somebody sees the lights. I hope somebody learns something from this. And again, let them people have been black. So the next time I go into the establishment, first of all, I'm putting a mask on. I don't, I, I'm not doing that. I'm putting a mask on. That shit nasty. Okay, and until I feel comfortable, I'm going to keep wearing a mask. But I wish, and I, I really want to see if I can do this. I want to do some type of test where I go in a place like that and start throwing shit and see what the fuck happened. But I ain't got time to play with my life like that. I want to live to see another day. So I'm not going to do that fuck shit. I'm not. It's like, I'm not going to do it. Because I, I actually want to live to see another day. I don't want to go back to jail. I've been. I don't want to go back. But this this shit... We gotta stop. This this gotta stop. Cause it's it's aggravating as fuck. And it just gotta stop. So 
that's part three. I just wanted to bring y'all a few Karen videos and some white privilege uh, examples and shit. And man, look, I don't, again, like I said, it's, it's been a rough week for me, and I'm going to give y'all a video on that as well. But even still, with it being a rough week, I still got to come on here and say something. I still got to make a YouTube video. I still got to open my big ass mouth and say something. Um, and then who knows, by the time I get off this video, I might fuck around and get on Facebook Live when this is over and just go ahead and just knock out what the fuck happened to me this week. Um, so stay tuned, follow me on Facebook because <laughs> I get live, literally, I get live on live. Do you feel me? Um, but yeah, so next week, I haven't decided the topic on next week. I am bringing my uncle on. He, who is a cop, but I haven't decided the topic on next week. I don't, I've done, so we've done police brutality, said their names. We've done mass incarceration. This one is Karen's and white privilege. So I haven't decided on what I want the next one to be, but next week you will find out. We'll, we'll find out. If y'all have any suggestions or any topics or anything, please drop them in the comments. And for, oh my God, I forgot to tell y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Ooh. And that you better have made it to the end of this video. I forgot to do that. See, that's how I know my mind ain't right. Like, comment, and subscribe. Now, while you watching me, you ain't doing, hit the like button. Just don't, real quick, just hit the like button. You ain't got to comment. Actually, yeah, you do. Comment. Just say, hey, girl, good job. Put an emoji down there. Like, just say something. Share it. Share with a friend. Y'all do know it's free to share, right? It take about two seconds. Subscribe to my channel. Cut them notifications on so you can get that ding every time I post some shit. Because you know it's going to be good. Because it's me. But anyway, this savage is out of here. I got to go. Uh, tomorrow's Easter. As of this recording, tomorrow will be Easter. Because uh, this is Saturday. I'm recording this on Saturday. I'm going to drop this video on Monday just because tomorrow's Easter. And I don't want to drop it on a holiday. Okay. So I want you guys to beware. And pay attention. Open your eyes. To what's going on. Okay. And again, this is episode 19. Let me quit playing. Of <laughs> Motivation with me.